just came back from yoga class and I parked my car in the driveway and before I go inside of the house, I'm gonna do a little trick using tennis ball. Yep, just one tennis ball. So put tennis ball starting from here between your shoulder blades and rolling. Oh, whoa, oh, it feels good. If there's a tight spot, you can stop and breathe out. And you can move your ball a little lower along your spine. And woo, feels good. Yoga was really good, but this is really good too. And right here, lower back. Woohoo, I tend to carry lots of stress and tightness right here. So right now, woohoo, yep. And even my upper part of pelvis right there. Ooh, right there. And if if you find a spot like ah right there, stay there and breathe out. Just breathe out. and mm, release attention. So when you have some tightness or when the ball touches the spot, we tend to hold a breath, right? Uh, tighten the body and you don't wanna do that. You wanna breathe out and imagine that that part, the hard spot, the ball is touching, it's just melting and you can move. You know, you can go a little less or a little firmer. And if you put the hand on your steering wheel, you can control the pressure you put on the back against the tennis ball, right? So, right, yay. It doesn't take long. And if you keep your tennis ball in a car, every time you park your car, spend 30 seconds. It's so worth it. And you can even use smaller balls. This is for the hand but I like to have this one too because it does a different job. Yep, this is smaller, this is bigger, and this is softer too. So I'm gonna put right here and move. And when we go somewhere, usually my husband drives a car and I just sit in a passenger seat and I just use all the tools I have and massage my lower back. So when we get to the place, my body is so relaxed. And sometimes I even have a massager, but tennis balls or something like this, so easy to use. And like I said, you don't need to spend lots of time. Try and see the difference, but also feel the difference. Mm -hmm.